Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to Mordhow. All right, guys, I played this game about a week ago. I, it was the first time I ever played it. I had never played Chivalry. I didn't know what I was doing, and so I was terrible at it. And so, and I'm still not that great at it. I'm only level six. I've been playing it for a few hours. I've got I've gotten the hang of some things, and and I, I can hold my own in, in a battle and be a good team member, at least a good support member, to make sure that we keep our barriers up and we we keep our we keep our our footing on the battlefield. But I was wrecked, and a lot of people were wrecked by a guy who had frying pans, and I I couldn't believe it. I couldn't find the frying pans anywhere, and I was like, is it a bot item? Is it an item? Is this a pay to win type of thing? I mean, you know, is this, you know, or is this, you know, like a PUBG champion or something? I don't know. But uh, when I when I actually looked into it, there was only one comment I could find on all of the internet that told me where to get the frying pans. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so the armory guys, if, if normally whenever you go and you edit your, your character down here in the armory, you have all these weapons, okay? Not there's not a frying pan in the bunch, and I just I, I couldn't figure it out. I was like, where the, where the hell is this frying pan? What and come to find out what it is, you start off with 16 perks or 16 points, right? That's for your loadout. You go to your perks and go to peasant, go to peasant. That's eight points, guys. That's half your loadout right there. But what it does is it says it restricts equipments and wearables to things a peasant would use, and that one of those things happens to be a frying pan. So the frying pan's right here, guys. Okay? Frying pan's right here. It does 45 points of damage to heavy armor if you hit him in the head. If you hit him in the body, it does 30. And if you hit him in the legs, it does 20. And it goes up from there depending on how little armor they have. So you can go, and they cost two points a piece. So if you want to load yourself out with frying pans, that's going to cost you six more of the eight remaining points you have. Now you're like, oh, what about armor? Well, guess what? You're going to have to be a frying pan throwing fool because if you hit R, you can, that throws your weapon if it's throwable, right? Otherwise, it flips it around and you, and you, and you use like the pommel of it or it chokes up the, 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 on, the, on the weapon so you have a shorter, more quick attack. Anyway, if you, throw the, if you hit R, you're going to throw the frying pan and if you hit somebody in the head, you can do a lot of damage. I found out very quickly that if you go in looking like this, they converge on you. They will kill you. As soon as they see the frying pan man on the field, he's a target. So be aware, you might be fast, because if you look at this, your speed is all the way to the top, but you have zero armor. And then when I say zero armor, I mean the only armor you have available to you, because there's three different armors that are actually equipable, your head, your torso, and your legs, because those are the ones that are, that are in bold face, right? All the, everything else is just, just cosmetic. So the head, right, the only one is light. It's only light armor. Right, and so peasant cap, that's what they give you right off the bat. That's light armor for your head. That's the best they can do because it, the torso, look at this. Torso, cosmetic. It's all cosmetic. Because you're a peasant, right? Legs, cosmetic. All of it, cosmetic. Because you're a peasant, you wouldn't be wearing armor. So the best you can get out of it is a peasant cap, and that costs you one point. I wouldn't even bother messing with that if I were you because... You want to go back into your perks, and you at least want to get friendly, which is going to drop you down 50% damage reduction to received and dealt team damage. And then you've got one more point, and I would throw that into maybe Cat, which reduces fall damage, or Scavenger, which causes everybody to drop their items on their, when, they, when you kill them. Or maybe Fireproof, which reduces armor damage or fire damage by 80%. I mean, you can you can do acrobat if you if you jump around a lot, and you might. But what's what's wrecker? Melee damage against structures increased by fifty percent. Yeah, unless you're knocking down barriers, it doesn't really matter. So you know, I mean, pick your perks uh, wisely. I wouldn't bother with the hat because they're going to come at you. They're going to want to kill you fast because you are a danger to everybody. Because I guarantee, if you're any good with frying pans, you're going to wreck the house, man. I guarantee it. So anyway, guys, that's how you get your frying pan. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now because I do this sort of thing all the time with how-to videos. Anyway, guys, as I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video of whatever I do. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.